In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my favorite street food spots in Shinokubo. So Shinokubo is known as Koreatown and the food here is amazing. You won't believe how authentic it is. And today I'm going to try to take you guys to my top 10 spots. My Korean food may be a little bit heavy so I might be struggling to make it all the way through to the top 10. So I'll just do my best and hope you guys enjoy. And guess who's joining me today guys? Maiko! Let's get it! Many tourists visiting Japan don't know there's a small and bustling Korea town, aka K-Town, just one station away from Shinjuku and walking distance from the Kabukicho area. It's filled with cosmetic shops, K-pop shops, idols handing out flyers, but most importantly it has some of the most unique street food options in Tokyo. And today, I'm gonna take you guys to some of my favorite spots, starting with one of the trendiest street foods, the Korean cheese dog. Number 1. Cheese Dog from Jono Hot Dog You'll probably find this shop first when you start walking on the main street of K-Town. Jono hot dogs are made to order. They even wrap the cheese with dough right before they fry it. And the Korean way to eat it is to coat it with sugar. Out, I got a mozzarella corn dog. And it has potatoes on it. So these like little chunks here are potato. This thing is so heavy. It's amazing. I rolled it into some sugar to get that sweet feel. And then it has some ketchup and mustard right there. It does smell like a corn dog and potato fries. So let's just have a bite. Oh yeah. Oh. That's not a taste you find in Japan ever. It's so rich. You like get the cheese in there and then this is supposed to be kind of like a savory, salty dish you're expecting but then you get the sweet hints of the sugar. It mixes well together but it's a bit shocking. You can see all the love in there. See, let me just take another bite. Mm. The mozzarella is delicious. Like I really thought this thing was gonna be oily, but it's not that oily. I think it helps that they put it on the tray so all the oil can leak off. This like truly feels like American festival food. It's like a gut bomb. Like if you really wanted to like fill up your stomach, then this is the way to do it. And they have a rainbow mozzarella here too. And this place actually has sausages inside. And the one at Seoul Ichiba has a spicy option. Number 2. Hatoku from Popo Hotoku. It sounds like a hot dog, but it's a completely different treat. It's basically a fried pancake with fillings. This shop offers various options from honey, red beans, to a saltier side like kimchi and ham and cheese. <laughs> At the honey and cheese pancake, oh, you can really smell the honey. Oh, my hands are getting sticky too, and it's like fresh off the griddle. Let's take the first bite. Mmm. Oh wow. You know what it reminds me of? Like if you ever had a churro, it kind of does like that, like a really hot, fresh off the fryer churro. The bread itself is chewier, but they're definitely like, I feel like they put some cinnamon on here, even though I didn't ask for it, which is really nice. Oh, there you go. So there, you can see the cheese right there. It was like embedded inside of the pastry. Very, very delicious treat. Number three. Fried Chicken from Kanhodan Chicken 678. K-Town is definitely not short of fried chicken shops, but this shop's chicken has some of the crispiest in town. So this is one of my favorite fried chicken places in Chin Okubo. This is like half a set. There's eight pieces. Looks so good. Look at that lovely goodness. Captain Crunch ain't got nothing on this. Oh, that is so crunchy. The meat is so tender. Like I just took a bite of that, you can see the moisture still in the fried chicken. This is their spiciest fried chicken here and it's super spicy. Look at that, it's like glazed in the coating. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. Wow, the sauce is so thick. You can still get the crispy, crunchy shell of the skin. And the sauce is like super spicy. It's almost like, um, have you ever had like a sweet and sour sauce? It's like that, but a hundred times spicier. Mm. Mm. <sighs> my nose is running over there for the first part. This is super, super spicy. Oh my God, it's, my mouth is on fire. It tastes good, it's sweet and salty. It's not Japanese spicy, it's Korean spicy. <laughs> It's been five minutes since I ate the spicy fried chicken and look at this. I'm like, I'm still sweating. We're eating so much food today. I can usually do 10 because they're like light meals, like very Japanese, but man, 
all the food we're eating today is so heavy. Look, there's eight pieces here. There's eight pieces here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish all this. Mm. So quick tip for you guys, right behind me is a public onsen and it's super cheap. What's nice about this place is that they're okay with tattoos. So you guys are always asking me, where's a good onsen that accepts tattoos? This place is your spot. It's super cheap and if you're full from eating food, come here and take a bath. All right, let's continue on to some food. Number four, Sun Nakji from Tejonde. Sun Nakji literally translates to live octopus in Korean, and it's one of the more unique food experiences in K Town. Warning, skip this part if moving food makes you squeamish. They just cut it up, and it's so fresh. This is my first time I've ever had it. I wanted to try this place for a while now, and this is the first time I'm showing you guys. All right, I'm gonna have this one. Oh, it's like sticking to each other. Oh, yeah, they're like the suction cups. Oh. It's on my skin. <laughs> I'm like trying to. They're fighting. I'm trying to grab it, but they're fighting. Look, they're, they're not letting. They're not letting go. Oh, look at that! It's moving in there. Oh, it's like, it's self saucing itself. It doesn't like the salt. Mm. That's weird. It's moving in your mouth. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Like when you first put it in your mouth, you taste the sauce, kind of like really slimy and like kind of moving around in your mouth. After you bite it a few times, it doesn't move so much anymore. It's not like trying to like grab you or anything. You can see like after a while, it just, it stops to move around so much. But I think if you shake it like this, then it like moves around. Have another bite. Hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> suction the, the side of my cheek. Okay, so I also have never tried this before. I think it's not so moving anymore, so I think it should be fine. Maybe like small one. Oh, maybe this one. No, do you have one with the tendon? No, I really no good with grotesque stuff. Please calm down. Please calm down. I'm super damn in that one. Oh, mine doesn't move in my mouth. Mmm, pretty pretty. Mmm, oh, so shit. It tastes super good. I don't want to look at this when I eat it. <laughs> so this to me is like the freshest sashimi you could ever have. I don't know, but it just doesn't feel right for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I've had like a lot of fresh fish before, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you guys try something like this? Is it like too fresh? Anyways, let me know in the comment section. Number five. Topogi from Jono Hotoku. This is the same company as the other Jono, but I had to include this shop for its various menu items, Takabi, fried chicken, and Hotoku. But today, we're throwing down on one of Maiko's favorites, Topogi. All right, check out this Topogi. Mm, the sauce itself is not too spicy. It is doable, but maybe like the people that aren't like really used to spicy sauce and maybe you might want to stay away from this. But it is good. I like spicy. But at the same time, it's like a mix of between a savory and a sweet. It's not like super salty and it's not super sweet. It's like it's just like in the middle. I mean, like the best way I can describe it is like mochi with a Korean twist, like a spicy twist. Alright. So topogi is my favorite street food. It's usually way too spicy for me when you eat it in Korea. Oh, this one has green on it right here. Also has oden. Itadakimasu! The mochi is not that sticky, but it's so soft, so good. It is spicy. Like the sauce itself is not that sticky as you can see. It's really like watery sauce compared to like things out there. And number six, Dakalbi from Peku Tepan. Dakalbi shops litter the streets of K-Town these days due to its trendy popularity. So this K-Town food tour would not be complete if I didn't recommend one of my favorite Dakalbi restaurants, Peku Tepan, by the star chef Baek Jongwon. What I love about this spot is it's decently priced while also being delicious. So check this out. This is Dakalbi. Look at all of that cheese is dripping. It's amazing. I feel like I'm gonna burn my tongue if I have this right now. That's amazing! The chicken is tender and it's just wrapped around with all that cheese and I had a piece of onion in there that just covered the flavors. Like you almost feel like it's like really junky but I think it is pretty junky. It feels like eating like a thing of nachos with all the cheese. Oh, it's just so good. What's nice about the cheese is that it like balances out the flavors because it could be too spicy with just the sauce alone. 
but when you add the cheese it kind of mellows out the kick i don't know we might have to tap out after this because this is just like so much food all right one thing before i let you guys go the cheese is definitely a must with this order it is so good this was recommended to me by one of my korean friends and definitely this is one of my favorite dakabi places in shinokobo all right so that concludes my top 10 oh wait guess we didn't hit top 10 all right, so that concludes my top street food spots in K-Town. Sorry I didn't finish all of it. It's just like the food is so heavy here. First time I failed. I'm sorry, guys. I'll do better next time. Anyways, if this video helped you guys out for your next trip, help me out and hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo or Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.